In a little less than nine months, the Olympic flame will be lit again in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. And as Sadie shows us, one of Flint's own athletes is looking to strike gold again. That's right, Dave. Clarissa Shields is training to stand atop the podium just as she did in London in 2012. And while plenty has changed, the quest for gold still her driving force. Their spirit encased in grit, sharp edges, unforgiving, like the champion housed within. 2012 women's middleweight boxing Olympic gold medalist and Flint native Clarissa Shields as added to the character of Lansing's Gallo Boxing. I box against the best female boxers in the world. So I am the best female boxer in the world. The perfect combination for a 2016 Olympic run. You know, God creates different people in different ways, and the way he created and flexed her muscles and made her, she just made for boxing. The number one is a theme in Clarissa's life. She's only had one loss. She's number one in the world. She was the first U.S. woman to win an Olympic gold medal in boxing, the first time it was an Olympic sport. And if she wins in 2016, she'll blaze a whole new trail. I don't have any doubt about um, 2016 Olympics. I know I'm going to do it. She hasn't lost a match in nearly three and a half years, but with those 66 wins comes challenges. <laughs> finding willing opponents. Today I, was, I shocked myself. I was able to go, you know, seven to eight rounds, back to back, no break. So that actually, you know, just let me know that I'm in shape and I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. An endurance test for a champion, a rare opportunity for a 15-year-old boxer. It means a lot to me because I don't just train to be looked at as a, you know, a dominant woman who can fight like a man. I train to, you know, inspire people. Clarissa says balancing inspiration and training prepares her for Rio. Sometimes I'm hitting the back and I can feel so many eyes watching me. It, it just helps me like when I have to go to the big tournaments and everybody's watching. You gotta block everybody out. Watching Clarissa carve the way differently than she did for London in 2012. Good. I train a lot more than I did when I was at Burston, a lot more. She splits her time between Lansing, the Olympic Training Center in Colorado, and Flint. But she trains at a different gym under a different coach, Leon Lawson. But if you do this, then she's going to be like, oh, no, I ain't going there. You know? Leon's the uncle to Olympic bronze medalist and professional fighter Andre Durrell and his brother, professional fighter Anthony Durrell. He was calling me every morning, making sure I was going to go run. But a lot of days, Clarissa trains on her own. Never one session, but between two and three a day. She starts with a four or five mile run. She'll hit the bag six to eight rounds. Shadow box six rounds and finish up with crunches and push ups. Always aware this Olympic, she carries the target. I'm always used to having my eye on somebody who I have to beat. Now there's like everybody is looking at me and studying me. You have this girl that grew up from nothing, became something so big. She inspired me to try boxing myself. The women's boxing died way back when Layla Ali stopped, but you know, there's there's a hopeful and that's Clarissa Shield. She's the only one that can bring it back. And hopefully, you know, having two Olympic gold medals, I'll be able to, you know, box on TV and bring a lot of, you know, respect and recognition to women's boxing. Housed in a rough and worn boxing gym, greatness fighting for, earning and believing in Olympic glory. Before I knew I could win the Olympics, I always told myself, I think I'm the best fighter in the world. Let's go. We're not done following Clarissa on her journey to the Olympics. A couple of weeks ago, she won the Olympic trials, and she is one of three female boxers invited to train at the Olympic Training Center in Colorado Springs, Colorado. We will be heading there with her to show you how the best in the United States prepare for Rio. Sadie Hughes, NBC 25 News. Thanks, Sadie. Clarissa, truly an inspiration.